May 2022, I graduated college. Graduated from San Diego State and then went to pursue on my um, interest in real estate. Real estate was something that I got into in college and I dabbled in a little bit before I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And uh, so decided when I graduated, I would buy a rental property, rent it on Airbnb and do some renovations and then sell it and flip it for more money. I ended up going to Waco, Texas. This is where like Chip and Joanna Gaines are. Um, basically, I, I saw it as an up and coming market. Uh, I bought a property there. Um, had I ended up financing it um, for over a million dollars and ended up renovating it, adding some value to it, and put it on the market to sell. In this process, I spent three months living in isolation by myself. Once again, this was the summer just after I graduated college. August 5th, 2022, I completely quit my porn addiction for the rest of my life. See, both prior to then, I didn't realize, but I had an addiction. I had an addiction to lust, to uh, this physical excretion of my body. And three, four, five times a week, I would make sure to get this in. Like it was a need. I would get triggers in when I would go to my bathroom just for the shower because that's where I would do it. And so all of these um, things started to add up when I was by myself. And I could actually have some time to think. Instead of getting hit with all of these uh, external factors and all of this stuff that comes from the outer world, instead of all these inputs into my life, I finally had a chance to get some outputs. And so in those three months of isolation, obviously it wasn't just I, like by myself. I, I still, um, I was in the outskirts of Waco, which isn't a big town at all. Uh, so it was in nature, but that time there, one, I drove social media and built out this whole gym thing um, and really blew up my social media to hit the goal that I set of 100,000 followers on my birthday, which is August 5th. And I realized when I hit that, and with all of this fog of these addictions and these things that I was doing in my life, that weren't for the betterment of my life and my future, I was limiting my potential. And ultimately, I started going to church more. I started um, listening to podcasts about religion and God and uh, started to just invest more into myself spiritually. And lo and behold, a few months go by, I end up meeting the girl of my dreams right two days before New Year's Eve on 2022. This girl changed my life. She reintroduced me into God, Christianity, and established this relationship with me where I could feel again. I could feel emotions because I came to a point in my life where I doled all of my emotions to external things and instead would just do it for material gain. When I felt these emotions with this girl, it opened me up to a bigger picture. It opened me up to a life in which I could live and be free. I could be happy with going out and just spending the day at the lake. I wasn't in this constant grind and constant mode of keep on pushing, keep on doing that, keep on, right? I could take a step back and breathe for a second. And in this, I've now developed over this past year I've developed more of a relationship with God and 
August 5th, 2023, I quit alcohol. I'm sober. I've quit alcohol for the rest of my life. I will never drink again. And I have a very addictive personality where I know that I am extreme in certain ways, whether I'm all in or all out. And when I'm halfway in, ultimately it comes to me being all in. And so what I find is I swap these addictions. What used to be porn for 10 years and then shifted into alcohol and now is shifting in to God. Shifting into love, compassion, sharing these experiences with you guys. And see, what I've found is in this, I feel more free. It's like a, a, an awakening almost to where I now know in my heart, like I can use my heart to think now, where before I've only used my brain analytically, do the numbers work, did things happen, like what? Now I can breathe and use my heart and understand that giving to others far exceeds any emotional gain that I get when I take. See, I've realized that God has opened me up to be a beacon of truth, beacon of hope, because I was not a godly man two years ago. Prior to that, I was not. Yes, I, I wear the cross on my necklace, right? Like I... I still was a quote-unquote Christian, but I was not living God's purpose that he had out for me. See, now I have fully submitted to God. He is the one and only entity that I will submit to. Because he created life, he has blessed me with this life, and he is giving me a future that is unfathomable. See, I uh, recently wrote down a few things um, as far as like my life, my purpose. Um, last name Summers, hence the S. What this is, is truth. When you change your state... You change your emotions, and you will change your life. Ultimately, I was living in a state of shame, of guilt, of sorrow, of loneliness. This past self, prior to August 5th, 2023, was weak. And now I have shifted into this new purpose, a new man, one in which lives with gratefulness. I have limitless, I'm powerful, strong, have confidence, I'm worthy, I'm free, and I have constant joy. See, I've been blessed with these emotions now. With an awakening, a realizing of, wow, this is my life. And so, ultimately, I have four goals set. Goals, and it's not even a set, it's a future truth, right? God has given me this present time right now to live and thrive. And he is giving me this future. First off, having one million subscribers. That will be my future. Second is reaching 100 million people. Whether it's on YouTube, any other platforms, whatever it may be, reaching 100 million people, God is enabling me to do. Next is making $100,000 per month. Because ultimately... In this material world, we need money. We need finances in order to fully be free. 
And so I know he is going to enable me to have that freedom so that I can share his words, grow in his kingdom, and ultimately help more people come to him. And lastly, is going to be being my authentic positive self. And this is what I am coming down more towards is fully loving, fully living in this moment, in this present, right? Because ultimately this is what we have. Time tomorrow doesn't exist. Time yesterday isn't irrelevant. Time today, now, this exact moment of you watching this is when you can change. God is there for you. He will give you that. He will allow you to change if you so let him. You submit to him and understand that he is powerful. He will bless you with all of the many blessings that you need, want, and desire. You just have to be willing to submit. Submit to him the one and only person that you should be submitting to, the powerful, the almighty, the grateful. I am grateful for his presence, and I can feel it. He's with us, and my time here is ultimately a blessing. It's ultimately a purpose, and really and truly, I'm here to give you guys a message. Help you grow to better yourselves. Live in positivity. Live to thrive instead of just survive. So, I'll be back. Hit that subscribe button if you want more. I'll catch you guys in the next one.